Now seeing the C8 in person, Ford GT, man, this thing looks absolutely crazy. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over to a car meet where there's going to be some pretty cool cars, and then we are going to be meeting my friend John there, who obviously works for Ford, and I'm going to see if we can like get some secrets out of him. We probably won't be able to, but it'll at least be a good attempt. And yes, we're taking the Raptor. I know a lot of you have been asking why I haven't been making as much content with the Camaro or just driving it in general. Like, I think over the last month, I've only driven it like maybe 50 miles, if that, maybe a little bit less. And... It's not that I'm sick of the car or anything like that. I've just been enjoying driving the Raptor more and I've kind of been getting a little bit more into off-roading and so that's kind of just the biggest thing is just, I enjoy off-roading more than I enjoy driving this car because I can have a ton of fun with the Raptor. I can drift it, I can do donuts, I can do all this fun stuff and I don't have to worry about any legal repercussions. Whereas with the Camaro, if I do anything, there's obviously legal repercussions that can happen, right? You go over the speed limit, you do any of that, and I'm, I'm not saying I do any of that. But what I am saying is, if you wanna have fun with the car, you kinda gotta do certain things, and there's legal repercussions, so off-roading it is for me. And before I do this, by the way, this is not a cold start because um, well, I went to the dentist today, so I already drove it a bit, but this is a startup. That's still pretty good. Like. For not being a cold start, it still sounds really good and it's pretty loud. It's it's very hot. Like the exhaust right now, super, super hot. Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the Raptor, I mean, maybe you can tell in there, the Raptor's pretty dirty. Oh, actually, this is why we put the satin black on the hood so you guys can see how dirty it is. Yeah, the Raptor's pretty dirty, so we are going to clean it before I go to this car meet so that I don't look like a complete idiot and yeah well, and by the way to all the people that ask me why i don't clean the truck just at the house because obviously that's less money however cleaning a vehicle at your house takes quite a bit of time now i know i might be over exaggerating this a little bit but between like if you do like the bucket method and all that kind of stuff between getting the bucket set up and then going over and hand washing the whole car and all that you're probably out of time like at least an hour which an hour's worth of time is quite a bit of time and I could be doing other stuff. Whereas the car wash that I use, I literally spend like four bucks, which is like no money at all. I spend four bucks, get the truck cleaned, and it only takes me like five minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to pay for car washes. Just got the truck washed and you ready for this guys? Massive total, $3.67. And I saved myself about an hour's worth of work. And that's all I really need to say. Like I make more than $3.67 an hour. That's Moral of the story. Well, this looks like a normal parking lot, doesn't it, guys? But just you wait. It's not normal because over there, we got some Fords. But not just any Fords, super special Fords. And there's not as many people here as I thought there would be. Let me see. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. There's honestly not that many people, but they're all sitting in a line, so, uh, huh. Oh, I didn't catch it driving by, but that Z01 is really loud. Sounds like a race car too. Hmm. If you guys are wondering why I'm just sitting in here, we're waiting for John to get here from uh, Provo, which is quite a bit of a drive. And he's got this really slow truck called the Ford Ranger. So it's probably gonna be a while because his truck's so slow. And the Z01's leaving. Ooh, I bet he's gonna, I bet he's gonna do something stupid here. Not stupid, but let's see. Wait for it. Wait for it. Still waiting. Four hours later. And there's Baby Raptor. Hmm. Where are you going, Baby Raptor? Where are you going? I know he didn't miss my truck. It's bright orange. Well, the Baby Raptor just got a whole lot louder because, well, he took off the exhaust. That's, that's all I have to say, so. It's, it's just the tailpipe and it's actually quieter. <laughs> Not happy about it. It's the tailpipe and it's quieter. There's nothing here. I have a more important question for you. 2021 Ford Raptor. I can either confirm or deny any such statement. Every time I try to get information from him, he says that he has to sign these forms and all that, and we don't know what's happening. BMW is pretty much the same color. I'm pretty sure that's the same exact color as with the Hellcat that we just wrapped. Yeah, it's like the same bright green. It looks really good in a BMW, though. But here's another Urus that I guess is uh, joining here in Utah, and it's got the cool, like, blue accenting there in the front of the grill, which looks really good. But yeah, it's always cool to see these around because you don't see a lot of regular Lambos, but you see Lambo SUVs everywhere now. As you can see, we've got a pretty cool lineup here in the front. You've got the Saline C8, 
Bronco, old Bronco, and then you've got the Ford GT. So these two are both from Lux Auto Spot. I don't know where those two are from, but yeah, pretty cool line up here. Look at that angle right there. You got Raptor, and then you have Baby Raptor. You got both claw marks right in a row. Which one's cooler, the Saline or the Saline Mustang? Just kidding, it's, it's obviously no comparison between the two, but we got like Fords on top of Fords on top of Fords. Wait, there's another Ford just right over there. GT500. Okay guys, I think I need to do a little bit more to the Raptor because this one with the red accenting and everything looks so crazy. And the stance on it too, I guess it's good looking. Yeah, I love when Raptors look like that. Here it is, the Ford GT. Man, this thing looks absolutely crazy in person. I've always wanted to see one of these in person. And then you guys can see the cars in the lifts and then there's actually another GT there at the bottom. But yeah, this thing, just in person, and you can see like the carbon fiber accents. Yeah, this spec is insane. And carbon fiber stripes as well, all the way down. It just looks so crazy. And seeing the fine buttress too, like, yeah, the whole car. Oh my goodness, like, I'm in love with this thing. And even here on the back end, seeing the wing raised, oh my gosh. Like, look at that view right there. Just through either side, that looks so cool. Yeah, this is probably one of the best looking, if not one of the, if not the best looking cars of all time. Like this thing looks absolutely crazy. Just look at all that. And those exhaust tips, oh my goodness, done. Just show you guys how weird it is. If you look at it right from this angle, it looks like it just like points right in like the car itself. Yeah, it's so crazy. And sorry it's dark in here, but yeah, this thing. Don't worry, I didn't forget about this GT. So we've got this GT also in black. Obviously, it doesn't have the cool carbon fiber stripe like the new GT does, but still pretty cool spec right here. And then the Ferrari up here, you guys can see all the little details on it. This thing, pretty neat. And sorry that I can't like get you a full view on it, but the GT's behind me and I'm not gonna accidentally hit into that car. Look at the door. That is so cool. And the lights too. That is just crazy. Such a crazy car. Man, this thing would be so cool to drive. And I forgot to show you guys, but look at the wheels. Full carbon fiber. Obviously, you guys know that happens on the GT, but it's really cool to see that in person as well with the wheels. But yeah, just all of the angles. Oh my gosh. This car is crazy. This Raptor over here is probably leaving. Of course, the Saudi's blocking me, but the color on that Raptor with the matte, that looks really good. And the taillights are blacked out, and so are the headlights. You can compare it to the orange Raptor, and then that Raptor. After looking at this Bronco a little bit closer, I have found some interesting things, and by me, I mean John Jenks found some interesting things. So obviously you guys can see the wheel setup and everything, but the cool thing right here with the exhaust, and that's because it actually has a 5.0 V8. So um, this thing is pretty crazy. Old school Bronco, and you guys can kind of see like, this looks super similar to the new one, just the new one has like all the modern stuff. We got a Ferrari rolling in. Oh yeah, that thing looks insane. By the way guys, this is my favorite Ferrari ever. I love that spec on it, but I love the 458s because of how good they sound. Yeah, that thing is so sweet. Okay, now seeing the C8 in person, I think I'm gonna have to for sure get the car that I ordered. And a lot of you guys think, and I'll kinda like go over this at the end of the video, a lot of you guys think that I didn't actually order the car, I did. But yeah, seeing this in person, it looks so good, and the seats. I think he does. I think yeah, he does. everything in it looks so crazy. So yeah, I think that I'm gonna have to like for sure pick up the order. But we'll, we'll talk about that more later in the video. Okay, yeah, the spec on this 458 is absolutely insane. Like look at the white on the wheels with the yellow brake calipers. Yeah, this thing is so cool. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, the owner of this actually has a TV show. It's um, the guy that owns, uh, that does Bitch and Rides. That is his car. So yeah, cool to see it next to the Raptor especially. Like, look at that. That right there. Ooh. Well, guys, I missed the startup, but the exhaust on this, it sounds pretty much identical to the ZL1, just saying. Like, this car, though, the whole thing, mid-engine. I think I've, I think I've got to get one, guys. I think I have to. I think I have to get one, because it looks just insane. And there's your other look at the saline, guys, so you can see everything up close. This thing, again, also just absolutely crazy to the engine in there just like fills up the whole thing oh my goodness this thing just the whole car insane look at the wrap on that <laughs> yes you love that eyes that wrap that's a pontiac <laughs>
<laughs> we are officially heading out and again i will miss you ferrari and thank you the dude from bitchin rides for bringing it in and sorry about all the fingerprints on my window it's horribly dirty but also tons of people here i have massive social anxiety so um we're gonna be uh, heading out now wait a second we got another ford bronco there just had to show you guys because yeah ford bronco come to the channel soon this happens every time i get home you can see the dog right there. He's waiting for me. Look at that. He's waiting. He knows. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Look at your tail wagging. Don't worry. We're going to play and go on a walk. But we got to wait for it to get cooler outside because you're black and you're going to die. Yeah, that's the one thing that sucks about him having black fur. I love how it looks, but he overheats so easy because of his black fur. And also because it's thick. So... Are you just gonna nibble off my fingers? Hey, you're getting adult teeth now, so you gotta be you gotta be nicer and softer with the nibbles, okay? Oh, and by the way, I weighed him today. 40 pounds. He's getting fat. What was that? I don't speak dog. Sorry if that video is just weird and kind of boring, but I just I needed to make a video like this today so that I could kind of figure out stuff with reviews for the week. And I wanted to give you guys an update on that. The reason that I haven't been reviewing as many cars is just everything that's going on with the coronavirus and obviously manufacturing. So there's just not enough cars to review. However, when I was at that little car meet, I did talk to the owner of Lux Auto Spa. You guys have probably seen him in Stradman's videos. And if you guys follow Raptors of Inst on Instagram, you've also probably seen stuff from Lux Auto Spa. So I might be going there to review some cars in the near future. Got to kind of figure some stuff out there i cannot talk stuff but yeah that's why i haven't been doing as many car reviews is just because of everything that's happening it's kind of hard to find cars right now which it is what it is then obviously we do have to talk about the whole c8 situation so a lot of you guys have been commenting that i didn't actually order a c8 i did order a c8 from the dealership the problem with my order is it wasn't initially accepted by chevy like for like their initial production run that they did before coronavirus and so the car never got built. I think right now it's getting produced, something like that. It's it's somewhere in production. So the car is getting built. It's that red, sorry, black exterior with the red interior spec that I showed you guys in the video of specking on the seat. So yes, that car still does exist. Now, I do have a choice to not take delivery of the car. I can give the car to someone else or they can sell it to someone else. It kind of just depends on the circumstances. But like seeing that seat in person, it kind of makes me want to get one. But then also seeing that Ferrari I don't know. It's just kind of, it's kind of difficult. Obviously right now I would not get the Ferrari, like just the C8 could make sense financially because it's going to be really cheap to maintain because it has a full warranty. Whereas a Ferrari 458 has no warranty. It's also exponentially, it's like twice as much as the car that I ordered pretty much. And so it's like completely different price bracket, something that I wouldn't get now, but I'm like, do I just wait till I can get something like that? Or do I get the C8? I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below what you would do. I'm leaning towards the C8 because it's a really cool car. But at the same time, it's not like my dream car, it's just a really cool car. So I just, I don't know what to do. It's kind of, I'm in a kerfuffle. And that is gonna sum things up for today. And I want you guys to finally let me know if you wanna see more Raptor content or if you wanna see more ZL1 1LE content. I haven't decided which one, but I think I might do more off-roading with the Raptor. I, didn't, I need to do like off-road comparisons. I think that's what I really need to do is like get one of my friends that has like a Wrangler get the baby Raptor, get all those people out there off-road with them and give you guys some kind of like off-road comparisons with the Raptor and the ZL1. Well, I don't know. Let me know on that, but I will see all of you guys in the next video. It was kind of funny to watch. <laughs> you having fun there, Zoro? Maybe I'll make like an ASMR video to uh, Zero Chewing because I'm sure some weirdo would watch that.